So the thing here is your three four stone is facing my uh, stone, right? Facing as in it's like the three side is yeah is so what is the side. same as yours. So yeah, yeah. so the enclosure would be on this side. Ah, huh, correct, correct. This side is facing my stone. If uh, this black stone was here, then maybe you can go somewhere else. But because it's not, it's better to take an enclosure. And the reason being is because then if you approach and then we do that, Joseki, you will have a really good right side. Yeah. So right. As the game went, that is that after this, right now I can make my moyo in either side. It could be the right side or it could be the bottom side. So white is having a huge advantage here. Mm -hmm. So that's why I said that this uh, three three innovation. I don't know what the AI thinks, but this is a bad move. Acha. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is fine. Here, uh, like, if White wanted to play fancier, maybe White could have taken this as well. Mm -hmm. Because uh, if uh, this gets censored, White can run. Like this as well. Yeah. 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 So here I was thinking of having the low pincer, but uh, the reason I did the pincer high is because I'm not trying to get the side, I'm more focusing more on the center. Mm -hmm. Here, this is the correct move. And, but after this, I don't think this is the correct move. Maybe uh, you can attach. But then uh, you will just do O4, no? Oh. Uh, this one? So you can, yeah. uh, like, it's like uh, lizard tail. Okay. So you can sacrifice this stone hmm. to get out safely. Hmm. Or uh, you could attach here and uh, so you could have played here. Uh, this is nice for black. Maybe white could have played like this. Yeah. Yeah. Then you have to run so, or you could go down. White comes, then you can make shape like this, yeah. and then you can try to crawl a few times. Then uh, you can pencil. Okay. This is a pincer on your. So, right now you have two weak groups, and both are between your opponent's stones. So, you have yes. to either sacrifice one of them. Yeah, so I gave up on those two. Yeah. Okay. So, here the thing is uh, if uh, these three stones weren't here, just having this base is fine. But if your uh, two space jump on the third line is surrounded by your opponent's stone uh, you should not play away and you should definitely play a move something like this so that you have access to the center in case white ends up reducing your area you can get another eye in the center okay. so yeah i'm just making sure this is my area so instead of this uh this is a better move or here actually could have played this as well because this puts a lot of pressure on the white stone yeah. white has to run uh, i don't 
like I'm a bit conflicted about this fee, but it's fine. Here, I think uh, you should play something like this. Yeah, that was what I had in mind. I don't know then why I didn't play. Mm -hmm. I had it in mind when I did the P, but uh, I didn't follow through. So what happens is this is putting pressure on your uh, on my stones. Plus, it's also like making sure you are getting out to the center, and maybe you could develop something later. Here, uh, I, I should have played something like this, but because if you didn't respond here and went here, uh, this could be very hard for white. Mm. So here also you should have uh, like thought like, uh, is it more important to attack or just to respond? Because even if you attack, this is still fine. Mm. Uh, if it goes like this, you can go up, or you can even do something like this. Okay. So, this is fine. Here again, I was thinking of playing this. Yeah. But I thought just because I did the shoulder hit, I should follow it up. So at this point, I thought no, I should <laughs> play this move. Yeah. Yeah. This was originally my idea was to use this as some kind of uh, set to develop this area. Mm -hmm. But later I found out something better that is the bottom uh, second line move. Okay, we'll yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So right now, I think black's best move should be this. And okay. After this, maybe playing here. Okay. Or maybe trying to get out. This is a bit passive. Yeah, so later I found out this move. Especially this, this attachment. Uh, here I was uh, uh, I was looking at a variation like this. So, but you just connect under so at the first line. You go here. I can go here. Oh. Wait what? Wait no. I'm I thought you just play G one. Sorry, uh, I play this one. Sorry. <laughs> I was trying to think of another way. Uh, maybe that was a, at a different time. Maybe maybe I was think, thinking of that at this time. So now after this, I was thinking of this. Yeah. But okay. Yeah, because if you go here, uh, I get to connect back. I see, okay. Yeah. But uh, in this case, uh, black also gets tempted to connect. And How did I escape? So, in like, right now, this is a good move, but here, this makes a bad shit. Sorry. Oh, huh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here, I still think this is better. Because, Sorry, what is better? Uh, this is better. Uh, I can't see your move. Uh, okay, now I see it. K5, right? K7. No, yeah, I don't see that. So you clicked on the board, that's why it unsynced. 
Oh, okay. So I was thinking of this, but uh, this doesn't seem very good. So I was thinking of this move instead. But then this is bad. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I don't know like what to do anymore here. Yeah, yeah. At this point, I was literally just like, it, it's done. So after this, just uh, here, I still think you can play another uh, nobi. And after this, I'd probably play something like this. Mm -hmm. Or yeah, probably I play like that. Here, yeah, we should definitely try to run first. Because yeah, yeah. even if you reduce, I'll still be alive, but. Uh, I yeah. can still attack this group and get what I'm losing on the right in the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And also another thing is like you played this move on the third line and this one on the third line as well. It would be nice if uh, like something was on the fourth line. Right? Okay. See, fourth, see, it's like a nice balance. So if everything is on the third line, it's very flat and if uh, everything is on the port line, it's very invaluable. So you want to have this kind of balance. Okay. Okay. So, uh, do you know uh, the idea behind this move? Oh, sorry, which move? K12? Uh, yes. Uh, K12 means that's it. Like, uh, I can't escape now. Yeah, so if you go like this, you can't connect. If you try to capture, uh, you get cut off. Okay. I think I should have played. I'm not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that also works, right? So, not having a fucking point for such. I was a bit confused about this one, so I thought this is the safer one. Yeah. By the way, you want uh, Rivo on your other game? So here, you're black as well. Oh no, you're not black, you're white. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, having to play as white against a stronger player is uh... yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing is uh, this uh, three four facing each other it's nice as black because black gets the first move of it so you can enclose something quickly so black can enclose one at first but because you're white, white can play this. And after this, like I shouldn't be telling this to you, but uh, black can actually play like this as well. Yeah, actually, this play is like this. So much better for me. Yeah, yeah. Though it's invadable, but or maybe play like this. So one tight one, one loose one. Ah, mm -hmm. uh -huh. take your enclosures. Otherwise, you see he can expand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, if I was black, I know it's a bit. Uh, the space is like uh, five. No. Yeah, four spaces. It should be three, but uh, I would still not worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So black can play here first, then go back to respond. Mm. 
Uh, I I just saw this uh, opening. There was some game. There was some tournament today or something on Michael Redmond's channel. Oh yeah, so it's I, a, a Lanka Cup. Yeah, Lanka Cup. So I saw this exact opening. Like, so I knew what to do at least till here. I think what I did was right. So when when they play the small. This life, is okay. this is a mistake by Black because Black has Centeno and Black should be playing away. Ha ha ha! Yeah yeah yeah. No, but I think I saw in the game. Then I would have Hane and Black would extend, and I would again continue no, here. Yes, uh, if you Hane here, like Black is very happy, right? Oh, okay. And then N sixteen. At least yeah, that's what I saw. And another thing is, uh, for White, this is not the correct move. This is the correct. Move. This is the. So for White, White should not cut here. No, not cut. Oh, yeah. White should always do this. Okay. So this is a bit of mistake, but after after this, I think he should play away. Huh. Because I, I your your group is fine. I don't know that. Like I thought, I thought maybe M eighteen would be a problem. Okay. So see, the Joseki ends here, right? Okay. So after this, black has center. Black can play away, but. Same for white. White can also play away. So you have to think why the Joseki ends here. It's because both of them are fine. So yeah. if it's fine here, then it should be fine here as well. Because uh, if you are thinking of uh, this uh, M18 Hane, right? You can just go down. Yeah. And in this. Phase like I would say we're still in the opening and right now black shouldn't respond and black should play something else maybe a pincer something like this yeah. but white is uh, very like very very much alive and if later when uh, this area is uh, like it becomes big so we're approaching the end game then white can play. Uh, and white can reduce it like this. Mm. So this is also another common mistake that whenever our opponent descends in the opening, we also follow. But yeah. that is not the right idea, because even if uh, let's say we played here, even if we get here, this is fine. Like we have a lot of influence, right? We don't mind our opponent calling on the second line. Yeah, yeah. And you could have taken the large enclosure as well. Okay. Both of them are fine. Uh, but uh, especially in this case, because black is building. A moyo. I think this should be a nice move. Right. Instead of approaching, because uh, black can just pincer, give up this, and just keep uh, building this moyo. Yeah, yeah. That only happens in the game. So it's nice to split. Now you're okay. This is a mistake, and uh, this is so playing here right now is not very good because you're already pincered by this. Ah, yeah, I have already shoulder. Very yeah. yeah. So after this, instead of doing this, uh, actually black made a mistake. It should have been here, right? Yeah. So. If it's here, that means it's not the Joseki, and that means we can take advantage of that. Right. You can play here. Mm -hmm. If he tries to connect like this, yeah, fine. You make shift, and let's say he wants to try to cut you off. Still fine. Now I put this. Like 
um, play here um, the end result will be like that you could end up living small here black would maybe live small here and big white stone will escape to the center mm -hmm. Or black, I'd say taking this is better. Yeah. Honey, right. Double honey, right. Ah. That is not right. Like the movie is here. And it goes like Maybe black can enclose this or play like this. So, this is a single digit key sequence. So, we attach here and the common. So, we have a small next enclosure from the P4 stone. We attach to it. The one with the enclosure plays here. We extend. And then, they protect the corner. We go up and they complete the shape and depending on the right side we can play different kind of ones. So if uh, these stones weren't here we could take a base by playing a three space extension and it looks actually good for white i uh, sorry black yeah. this on the other hand just look good. Uh, I think uh, white should not respond here anymore and hope oh, white connects. So we play uh, Sabaki. Sabaki is like uh, playing very lightly, willing to sacrifice a few stones to reduce our opponent. Mm -hmm. So now we can look for areas where white can go back. Maybe. Uh, we can even do shoulder hit on the fourth line as well. I mean, on the fourth yeah. line stone. So, like, I don't think there is any way black can actually kill this stone. Mm, yeah, yeah. The only way is to die. Yeah. So, this looks fine. And let's say if uh, after this, black says no, like, this black group looks fine now. I want to take this area. You can uh, let's say this is the sector line now. So maybe you can play even something like this. After that, let's say yeah. So it gets reduced a lot. Yeah. And I am not really showing very complicated fighting variations here. Just the simple idea of defending the Molo and reducing the Molo. Uh, as black, I would probably do this. Because right now, Honestly speaking, this is a open door, and I'd say this is still the another door. So right now, it's a very nice time for reduction. And uh, let's say if Black had played this after this, we could have cut and maybe fought. And even if this was, let's say, it is completely surrounded, you can treat those stones as sacrifices and try to reduce. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Also, I think cutting here would be fine, but again, this group is not that fine. So. So it could reduce like this as well. 
so like for uh, why reduction is really really important yeah and you know understanding when to reduce and when to panic it's very hard even for i think four or five dancers well i don't know i shouldn't be commenting on that but like it's very hard for me as well like generally yeah. i said you should reduce when uh, my opponent can complete the move by two more moves so let's say after this like if uh, black plays another move here and let's say here maybe another move so around this is the time when we should start uh, reducing or yeah. do invasion so here invasion could happen because like it's a very big area but uh, reduction works fine also so what you have to do is whenever you uh, face uh, these kind of scenarios in your games try to start with reductions first and after you've played a lot of a lot of games you would get the gist like when to do it when to not and if uh, you can invade instead of reducing yeah. what about this is this bad mm hmm We're trying to attack it too. If black really wants this, then the corner is our. And if black tries to somehow live here, so my question is: Is uh, this uh, corner dead or alive? Hello. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That was a question. I thought it was a rhetorical question. No, no. Uh, is so, this, is this dead or alive? Is this corner? I think this corner could be alive. Okay. So. For black. Of, yeah. So instead of doing a honey, you can just threaten to uh, play here and kill this. So if black takes the bait, we can attack this. But this attack doesn't work, right? Does it work? I don't think it works. Uh, so my idea here is like sacrificing these stones, or you could try to save this. But uh, you see, uh, we can attack yes. here and try to reduce this area. Hmm. Or let's say yeah, black. After this, you can take here. Yeah. Wait, you could possibly put at your cutting point, but uh, black is under attack as well. So after this, uh, actually do something like this as well. And uh, you can connect back like this if you like really have to because I like, cannot do a honey here. And this uh, left group has access to the center, so it will probably get to right. Yeah. But it requires a lot of reading. So the reason for doing this is that let's say if black does something like this, you can actually play here because if it goes like this, black is 
under attack. So black has to play here. And you can still pick up the left side. Yeah. Or later when you're doing reductions, you can use that one stone as some kind of uh, sacrifice to reduce it. Let's say like, like you're uh, threatening to revive that one stone and split black. So let's say that let's say this is the sector line, not here. So right now you are behind. Okay. Instead of doing this, you can do a night thing because this can't be cut. Here as well. So always instead of doing invasions first, try to reduce. I I I, I did I missed a lot of these. I like I didn't do this cut yet. So I haven't played over nine when the net had cut. So instead of doing a deep invasion, you can no no even before that. Uh, before that, hmm. this cut. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is. I didn't. No, I I didn't comment anything about this. Achha, okay, okay. I I I'd say this is fine. So here I was saying that this would have been a better idea. Hmm. So he is just enclosing you, and now you're under attack. Yeah. Let's say to poke at the cutting point and let's say they connect somewhere. Uh, they connect in either side and you play light. But this is becoming very hard because now yeah, you yeah. place around it. Mm -hmm. So always remember invade when you have access to at least two ways to run away. Yeah. So playing here doesn't do good. You can play here. Protect the shape, something like this. And try to get out of the sector line. You can't find it just because black is so strong. I this I wouldn't even go here I would just play something like this now you can this is yeah now we're done there is nothing much. So after that two steps, it is pretty much over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right now, what you're having the most trouble with is uh, when your opponent gets a huge move. Yeah, yeah. How to prevent that in the first place? Yeah, I'll see if I can find some material to read up on that. A good thing I switched to. Uh, the influential style recently, so you'll get to play a lot of 
games with me and you'll get a lot of idea how to do that yeah yeah uh, see you uh, in the weekend yeah yeah i think i'll be free this weekend yeah good night yeah that's all